<sighs> Good morning. I took a day off, dropped um, Warren off at the airport, did a bunch of work. Then I tried to pick up this guy, Julien, at the airport. What's up, guys? Except um, the van broke down. So this kind of happens if I don't film. I try to take a day off and all of a sudden shit goes wrong. So I have electrical failure. This is reminiscent of the failure I had when I first got the van. Um, except for it's not the camshaft position sensor because I actually have a spare of those because I was so worried about it happening. So I replaced the camshaft position sensor already. ASD is good. Um, the coil is good. So it seems like everything is good and I am hitting a brick wall. I can't seem to figure it out. Hopefully it's not the PCM because that's about two or three hundred dollars. So I don't know. We're going to take it to a mechanic though today because we had to camp out on the street last night because I couldn't move the van. First name is Simon, last name is Styles. All right, a little bit of update. I'm gonna do just updates and try and film as much as I can here, but I'm really just trying to get this fixed. So my focus will not be on the vlog, sorry about that. But uh, I finally got myself a tow truck driver. Uh, Good Sam failed for the fourth time. They wiggled out of it. This time they said that apparently I don't even have a membership, which I just bought one. Like, I don't know, nine months ago, 10 months ago. So that's great. If you're uh, thinking of getting on the road, don't go with Good Sam. They're terrible. The worst service I've ever used. I have called them four times and I've had them four times bail on actually towing me out of a situation. They failed every single time. So don't go with them. They're terrible, um, but do go with the local tow truck driver who's gonna charge me 90 bucks to haul it to a mechanic a few blocks away. I mean, it's so close I kind of wish I could push it, but <laughs> what happens when you live in your car you can't do that <laughs> but uh, I ha hauled the motorcycle off the back parked it behind me over here I'm gonna put the, the rack is already inside I'm gonna throw the mountain bike inside too but I didn't throw the motorcycle inside I probably could I really probably could but I figured it's fine here I've got it double locked up and I'll come back and get to it later yeah let's get some good news eh champ want some good news what's the good news Champ, what is it? You're excited. It doesn't matter what we're doing. It doesn't matter how bad of a day I'm having. He's excited. Oh yeah, also, Shalini took off to go pick up his uh, camper van. But check this out. He hit me up with a bunch of mountain hardware. Which is, isn't that ironic, eh? Just getting into the bouldering. And he gets a, a sponsor throwing him all this gear. So I got fresh, clean clothes. Which is really nice. <laughs> I'm on the lineup, but it doesn't look like they'll be able to touch it till this afternoon. And uh, in the meantime, julien has got his little rental from Native Camper Vans. This thing is super dope. Let me show you.
these guys are um so these guys native camper vans i'll share a link in the description they're basically like a camper van van life rental company so uh if you want to check out more of their builds and stuff the link will be in the description you can check them out this is really cool very clean that's what happens when you uh do it professionally i guess <coughs> So yeah, we're not really going anywhere exciting right now because I still have to stick around my van, but we are gonna go get some lunch. And honestly, it's just kind of cool to be in a new camper van and a self-built one. I can now see, like I didn't get it for a long time, why people would take these sprinters and build them out because it seemed like so expensive and you don't get that much compared to just buying like a used RV one. So you get a lot for the used RV ones, but feeling just the way this thing drives, you have so much more confidence. It's like the suspension is stiff, everything works, it's just like I would, when I got to like the BLM land, I'd be like, yeah, let's take this thing as far as she'll go. Like I'd be totally fine with that, whereas with mine, there's so many more variables. So I think that's part of why these are so attractive. You know what else is attractive? Delicious tacos. Oh man, I can't wait. <laughs> Delicious tacos. It's gonna be a boring episode, sorry about that. Come on. All right, well, uh, for most of the day, I've been leaving the van here, trying to get these guys to look at it. And um, when I first got here, it seemed kind of promising. There was three mechanics and they seemed to be working hard and one of them finally got around to this. But by the time he showed up to work on this, the boss had rolled in and the boss is drunk. So the boss is drunk. The guy who was working on it has never seen a Canadian version of this van before. For this particular year, um, the American version has a crankshaft position sensor. The Canadian one has a camshaft position sensor. At first, he seemed up with the program. He was working with that camshaft position sensor, trying to do the tests on that. And then he said he ordered a part and then left for the day. And the part shows up and it's a crankshaft position sensor. And I tried to explain, well, there must have been a confusion because there's no crankshaft position sensor in this van to which the guy the owner basically told me to screw myself and that they're going to try and jam it in the van which i'm really looking forward to because there's no spot in the harness to bolt it in there's a hole in the bell housing that's got a rubber cover which they i hope they don't destroy but like there's no bolt mounts for it so it's going to be pretty hilarious when they try to wire that one in i'm looking forward to that basically it's probably the computer which kind of sucks because it's like a four hundred dollar most likely replacement but the upside is is that this kind of coincided with the episodes about my phone getting stolen just came out like a few days ago and you guys have been amazing and i got like a ton of donations and patreon's been blowing up and it's really really huge and like it's really cool that you guys care about what i'm doing and, and trying to like help me along and uh, that's that's really big for me and it means also that I can swallow you know a four hundred dollar computer and, and put it in and uh, I, just, I just basically I just want to say thank you you guys are awesome and uh, we'll get through this I'm gonna overnight a computer and uh, hopefully in the morning we'll have it all sorted out so catch up then